Hey there everybody, I wanted to qu make a quick uh, demonstration on how to uh, replace the skin on one of your batteries. Um, batteries, the skin that comes on them is pretty weak, they break pretty easy and a lot of people get scared to continue to use the battery. Well at 10 to $20 a pop it can be expensive um, replacing a, a fully functional battery just because the skin's broken. We're going to show you real quick how to do it with a uh, heat gun and you can also use a uh, uh, torch and we'll cover both of those in a small video. The wrap's already been peeled off of these. Now it's most vulnerable when the wrap is peeled off. I'm just going to show you real quick. You can see the sparks. It can be very dangerous um, with no wrap on there. You don't want to have a battery without a wrap, at least a charged battery. You want to discharge it to nothing if you can. Um, we have when you pull the wrap off, you need to save this little piece right here. It's what protects you from uh, a little added protection from, and you can see right there that it's working. So make sure you have this when you peel off the old wrap. If you don't have one of these, if you got an old junk battery around and just doesn't take a charge, um, peel the skin off that. Be sure to uh, wrap it in the sandwich bag when you're done uh, for disposal. Uh, you don't want this catching your garbage on fire or catching a landfill on fire. Um, or you can bring it to a shop like Sun Vapors where we actually have uh, a contract to uh, recycle and dispose of lithium ion batteries. Uh, so let's get back to this. Um, we're going to place that there. This is a clear wrap. Now this clear wrap is a little oversized because other batteries may have a... Uh, I, wanna, I don't want to call it a nipple top, but a uh, button top? Button top. Yeah, it's been a while. A button top, and it makes the battery a bit longer. So we want to center this right here. You guys see that? And this is a clear wrap. You can see the markings underneath the wrap. Um, sometimes I like to take a marker, and if I have one on my desk, you know, what what is the battery? You know, this might not write. It's not gonna write, but you get the picture. Samsung definitely use a marker for the video I'm just trying to whip this together so let's center that bad boy remember you're cutting off maybe a little less than an eighth to sixteenth and you got your your heat gun we didn't preheat this so it may be uh, take a moment to charge up now this button wants to fly out. Remember that little piece of plastic? It wants to blow out of there. So we're going to go at an angle. And uh, now we got it. He's on there. See that? Now he's not going anywhere. You don't want to get these too hot where they um, stretch so tight that it rips. But in about less than a minute I've rewrapped a Samsung battery so there you go uh, one thing to keep in mind you may want to trim a little more off if you're not happy with the center pin some of these things got wide center pins and they won't contact so just keep in mind the more you trim off uh, just have some emphasis to go towards the front and then that back will be more exposed next up the blowtorch Definitely, if you're a shop owner, you should recycle batteries. You know, these harm the environment. They can cause fires. Uh, just, you know, make yourself look good. Recycle batteries. Oh, in San Diego, we use Lamp Disposal Solutions. Um, great guy. Comes to the shop, talks with you directly. Um, I'm sure I, they charge me when they pick it up, an uh, arm and a leg, but that's okay. Let's see here. So this... I got me an LG right here, and, and, and maybe it's still a good battery. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like using outdated batteries. It's okay to use a scissor. Cut up there. There. Now, remember what I said about the battery being dangerous in this fo uh, format? So I'm going to go ahead and stick it in here, right back in there. And maybe you want to tape it. Maybe you just want to wrap the top real quick. This is going a little further than the video I wanted it to go, but you know, safety is an important thing. Um, so.
So we're just going to put this here. And remember, I'm recycling this. It's going to go on my new battery. This is how you can do it with a blowtorch. See what I just did there? Crimp it down. And a little bit extra security to keep those from touching. You see what I did there? And I'm just going to toss this in the sandwich bag for extra security. Roll it up. And I usually um, have my guys tape these. I'm not sure why this one isn't taped. Not a big deal. I'm going to go put it back in the box. Okay. Get that old wrap. Now we're going to use black. Um, I think it's PVC is what this is called. And... Where did our subject go? So this is still a very good battery. There's a little bit of rust on it, but we'll go with it anyways. Now we're gonna cut off. Now I'm gonna my goal is to get a little bit more of the negative end showing, so I'm gonna cut off a tad more. And I uh, I think I was starting to talk about the black PVC over the clear. I think black is just a stronger uh, material. It seems to be uh, harder to break. Okay, now. Now this just uses straight up heat. So it doesn't actually blow out the, the uh, little plastic protective washer. And I'll let my camera guy get See that right there. See that right there. And we're going to finish it off here. Use your fingers as a thermostat to know how hot you need to be. Um, you know, take your fingers. A few notches above uh, where you can't take it no more, or below where you can't take it no more, I should say. And uh, it's enough to melt the wrap without burning your fingers off. Now you can see this is a little more tedious, but you know, if you don't have a, a heat gun, you know, you may be in, uh, in some part of the country. Like, who has a heat gun at their house, you know what I mean? It's more likely you got one of these little torches laying around. Now, you may say, well, why do you use a big torch, Edward, not uh, one of those little butane torches? Well, if the flame is too small, you have to get closer to the battery, and then you start um, breaking the skin. So we found using this bigger torch is easier, because it gives me enough heat spread where I can still wrap it without burning my fingers off or breaking the wrap. So be sure to turn that off. Remember, don't lay it down on plastic. Don't let it roll around your table. It'll burn your plastic at tip tip is very hot here we go and this can be better if it wasn't on camera I would do a little bit more but yeah so two different ways to wrap a battery you should always mark what battery it is stick something on there know what kind of battery it is because I guarantee six months from now it'll just look like another black battery after you wrapped ten of these bad boys uh, it's good to date them too I like putting dates on stuff Edward sunvapors.com thanks a lot and have a great day folks